ever design an action figure and realize the arms flop around like wet noodles or snap off and cause you to rage quit on your design? Well, today we're fixing that with hinge joints. Today we're making pop-in hinge joints. The kind that click together with a satisfying thunk that make you feel like a professional toy engineer. Or at least kind of like you know what you're doing. I'm going to walk you through sculpting both half of the hinge joints in Nomad Sculpt. And setting up the clearance so the joint can move easily. It's part art, part geometry, and about 10% wizardry. So grab your stylist, open up Nomad Sculpt, and let's design a joint that pops in. So let's get started designing a knee or elbow joint. So we're just going to delete our spear. Now we're just going to add in a cylinder. And we're just going to use this as our thigh. Let's make it sort of thigh shaped, right? And once we're happy with this, let's just validate it. We're just going to use that as a basic shape. Now we're going to go in. And let's just add some clay. Let's make this sort of thigh-like. Let's put it in the front. Make it look super muscular since most action figures are hero-esque. There's our thigh. Really simple. Now we're going to make the shin. So we're going to add another cylinder, just move it, and this one we're going to make narrower, very shin-like, just sort of center it up, and now let's just go to the right, and now we're just going to add basically a spear, and that's just going to become sort of our calf muscle. Uh, let's shrink that up, get it in place of where a calf would be. Let's go back to the front. Let's just elongate this a little bit. Okay, and there we have it. Let's just now select our two pieces. Let's just uh, voxel remesh them. So now they're one. And now let's just sculpt over it real quick. So we're making this much more calf like that is our leg nothing crazy All right if you want you could you could run some muscle down the front make it a little more he's a superhero okay now that we have this this is our organic sculpt these are our two parts so how do we make our hinge joint it's actually quite simple there's two ways we could do this First, we're going to make the piece that goes on the calf, which is really a simple thing. We're going to add in another cylinder. We're going to rotate the cylinder. We're going to shrink the cylinder, and I probably should have just moved it up. Hold on. Because we're going to put it up here on the top of our calf. And we just want it to sit in. There, let's just make sure it's all centered, looking good. Oh. Okay. Then once we have our cylinder in place, we're just going to add in a spear. We're gonna shrink this spear down. And we're just gonna put it right there. Now we're just gonna clone the spear and we're going to drag it to the other side, poking out. That's going to be the hinge that's going to connect these two pieces. Now, we can handle the upper leg, the upper thigh, in one or two ways. One, we could add two sides that run along the side, or we could actually bring this up into it. So, let me show you both real quick. So for right now, we're just going to take all these, and I'm just going to do a voxel remesh. Let's just hit project. I'm going to do a voxel remesh on this, and now you see we have one piece. Our leg is now, a bottom part of our leg is one piece. 
So what I'm going to want to do is bring this up in here. And you see, I got to leave some clearance, right? Because I need it to rotate. So I'm going to bring my shin up and think there would be a knee, another piece here on the front that would be the knee. So the first way I could do this is this. Let's just clone this shin real quick. And let's move one over here. And then we're going to just clone it again real quick. And this one, this one over here that's has the gizmo on it, we're going to save for later right now. Okay. Actually, let's move that one. Hold on. Oops, I just moved the wrong one. Yep. Oh, I cloned the wrong one. Hold on. Just delete this one for a second. Let's move this guy over here for a second. Let's also clone this. And we're just going to move this over here. So we're going to do that a different way. Okay, so let's deal with this one. So now what I want to do is I am going to clone the spear, which is really the chin of the leg. Now, what I want to do is I want to take the one I just cloned. I want to turn it off. I want to select my cylinder. I'm going to leave that on. And I am going to do a voxel remesh. Now, what that's going to do is, let's just grab this. And as you see now, I have where my hinge is going to fit in there. Now, this is one way you could do it. Now what I do is I select my thigh. And I'm just going to take my trim tool. What I'm going to do, I'm going to trim away. the front. Let's just make it a little, try to make it a little more squared out. And now this should fit right up in there and snap right in to the joint. Now the other way I could do it is this. So let's just grab this shin, bring it over here, and we're going to do the same thing. It's going to bring it up. Just get it all aligned to where we'd want it to fall, right? Which is roughly about here. Now, with this one, I just add in a box. And let's get straight on front. And what I'm going to do with this box is I am going to, for some reason, my, my pen is deciding it's going to act funky on me. My Apple Pencil. And to see how here it's sitting on the side of that, it's sitting right there on the side of that hinge, right? So let's just move this slightly down. I gotta leave some tolerance, right? Now I'm just going to clone this, move it to this side, and same thing, leave some tolerance. Now I know this looks a little weird, but now all I need to do is go in here. Let's just, we can make these much thinner. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is basically take my two boxes, oh, my cylinder, I'm going to voxel remesh them. Now they're all merged together. Now all I need to do is start sculpting them together. Now obviously if I was doing this for real, I would spend a little more time making this look nice. And now basically we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to take this shin. I am going to clone it. I'm going to hide it. I'm going to grab my cylinder. And I am going to voxel remesh. 
Now when I grab my other shin down here, you can see my holes are punched away in the bottom of the joint. So one of the other things you could do is you could leave it in place and you could shrink down the size of the uh, joint of the calf and that way it will fit in perfectly in the hinge. So let's get these exported and printed and I'll show you how they snap in. So this was the first way we tried to where we just notched it out with the trim tool. And you can see it works pretty good. And this is the one where we extended out the two sides. There we go. So works pretty smooth. Actually, I'd say this one's actually a little bit smoother than this cutaway in terms of the friction. This is probably a little more poseable though. Now this is the one we did as one piece. So we see there, let's, let's had to crack it, and there you go. Now it's print in place. And there's your knee joint. So we had the knee joint where we cut it away, the knee joint where we built up the two walls, and the joint where we printed in place. All of them look pretty good, and all of them work perfectly. And this can be used for a knee joint, an elbow joint, even finger joints, and possibly even shoulder joints if you, uh, you know, cut your space correctly. Any joint you would want where you'd have that motion of a knee or an elbow. And that's it. Brand new poppin' hinges right out of Nomad Sculpt and ready for posing. Now your elbows, knees, shoulders of your 3D models could all move around. If you're like me and you want to go deeper or you want to see other uh, sort of hinge joints for articulating 3D prints, make sure to like and follow. I'll also drop links to my other videos on creating articulating joints in Nomad Sculpt. Drop a comment below and tell me what type of articulation you would like to see next. For more on 3D printing, DIY, and maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It. And remember, keep on making. Oh, and remember, when you hear that perfect click of a joint going in, that is not just plastic, that is victory.